So I was sitting on my big ass, my big fat ass. I'm not that fat, by the way, but I'm just saying, I was sitting there like that. And I thought about something. I felt something inside of me. Of course, you already know what this game is by now. You see the title of this video. You see what we're about to play. The Return of Batman Vengeance. Now, a lot of people don't know about this game that it's actually, wow, actually, can you say fucked hard? It's actually, I should have skipped all this while it's actually, well, actually, never mind, no, I wouldn't have been able to skip it. The pre, the prequel, no, damn it. The prequel to Rise of Shinju, so this is the first game in that series. I already have a, like a profile that's named this, but can I use it again? I can. Oh, you ready to hear this gasm? Listen, listen, listen. Mm. I gotta quote the noob here. You messing with the goddamn Batman now? The goddamn Batman. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me do options first before we go. What? Mm -hmm. I love that music. How can you not like that music? Mm -hmm. Let's go. I love this game. Fuck that motorcycle. I love this game. Oh shit. I love. Damn clock. I love this game. I've let's played this before for those who are new, who didn't know. Yeah, I've let's played this before, but the previous let's play wasn't exactly on my standards of one. How I. Fuck. How I wanted it to look. Okay. I remember thinking that this game was too hard. And I'm ruining the atmosphere of this game right now in the cutscene because I'm talking so much. But guess what? You like it anyway, bitch. Because you know you love hearing me talk anyway. But now, I actually gotta shut up because of this iconicness. Luke Skywalker had to, uh, you know, laugh a little bit there. And I just gonna do it again. Dick face. Now, I was thinking about it, and I was having some fear because, uh, well, the main reason is I didn't. It's dark as hell. Uh, yeah. Turn that up. There you go. Yeah, the brightness is like max, though. Oh, good lord. <coughs> I was having fear, though, because I was wondering if, if, what is that? I was wondering if this is going to be as interesting, and damn, I'm getting air right now. Look at that. As interesting as, say, my last LP was, or say, uh, noobs LP or obviously I know how to jump can you die here I wonder if you run into that the steam but anyway yeah I was worried you know because I already did this and how do you make him manually die? what I already know how to do that how do you make him manually do that like lean forward dive and he did there for a second. But I was worried that this wouldn't be as interesting as it possibly could be. You know, because I know what I'm doing in this game now. and You feel me. Let's zoom out a little bit. Alright. 
triangle is to do basically everything. You want to open the door, you, you hit triangle. You want to scale a wall, you hit triangle. You want to fuck a bitch, you hit triangle. She got to grow up so fast. A bomb. You see that stupid little zoom in you did there? So there's something actually very funny. If you stay here, the bomb will blow up and you will fucking die. And I can't... What the hell? Like, I can't... Wait. Can I jump on this? It, yeah. Just want to find out. Alright. It was about to blow up, too. Did you hear that? It was like... Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love how this bomb... Damn. Explodes, like, right... Literally, right... I'll say it again, right when you get to that ledge, it blows up. And it's destroying everything. Jesus. It looks like he got engulfed in it for a second, too. It touches his cape, though. Kevin Conroy, bullshitting logic. Ooh! Look. Okay, so all that gets blown up, and Joker survives. Which doesn't make any sense. And also, after that happens, you don't hear any... <laughs> You don't hear, like, anything about it again. Oh, wow, I'm fucking up right now. You don't hear anything about it again. First item. And again, it's triangle. Look at her just laying there. What is she, unconscious? I'm a try not... That man looked really depressed there. <coughs> you couldn't even see him because of the fire. But, like I was saying before, damn, what was I saying before? Oh, I'm going to try not to spoil the story, despite the fact I know it. For all those that actually know the story, I mean, this game is mad old anyway. It's from 2001, it's based off the animated series. You can't even run that speed in the actual game. Why does he run like that? Her name's Mary Flynn. Sure. Is she in some kind of trouble? It's the Joker. And maybe more. Something about this woman doesn't add up. I'm going to work on the obstacle course. Run Alfred's training program for me. Sure thing. I know this is a game, but... What in the world is the actual point of doing the obstacle course if he's already trained to physical, you know, peak? What happened to the chemical place, the access chemicals? If that's even the name of the place, I don't know. Walk slowly. And yes, I'm forcing you all to sit through this because it's a part of the game. I know, I know. I'm a dick. Tater. I already know all this shit. Very good, sir. Once the grapple. 
rifle is aimed at a suitable target, the crosshairs turn red and you may fire at your leisure. Of course, it's leisure. you're still free to move about while the grapple is activated. When the cord has entirely retracted, the <coughs> grapple will automatically release. I... I'd strongly suggest retrieving your equipment from the higher platforms before we continue with training. <coughs> oh fuck. It's inverted controls right now. Ah, you've uncovered some back cuffs. Well done. A little restraint can go a long way. You can avoid a fight altogether by sneaking up behind an adversary with a pair of cuffs. Also, by leaving him cuffed once you've knocked a criminal down, you can be sure he won't come back to pester you. Not really. I mean, if you put a guy in cuffs... Just like this. Keep it. Very good, sir. You, you know may want to use your cape for the return to ground level. By stretching it towards you know, oh, the line quite a distance. Interrupts me again. Fuck. Wait, so I would take like fall damage. Good show, Master Bruce. If I just dropped. We'll move right along now to the use of the batarang. To strike with enough precision to knock a weapon from a man's hand, you'll need to take careful aim. He called him Bruce, but what if someone was listening in? With a little practice, you can strafe around your target without losing your Like range. me as the player. Once you have your target in your sights, the crosshairs turn red. Now I know Batman's identity. On these posts. Aim for the bullseyes. I got it. Jesus Christ. <coughs> now if you walk up and hit it, you fail. So I'm not going to be like a dumbass and do that. What I'm going to do is this. Now I get to whoop some ass. Perhaps now we should brush up on your fisticuffs, as it's so often the only common language between criminals and justice. Of course you have a wide variety Fisticuff. of the martial arts at your disposal. Perhaps you could practice a few attacks on the training post. I like the Arkham games, you though. Find some of your opponents are smidgen more clever than a metal post. A healthy defense will make sure you're still standing after your opponent has been defeated. Then why not... Give me a bot. Again, you said my name, bastard. Not Bruce is Batman. Wow, really? Really? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. ah. Wait a minute. Watch this. Wants to do the back end. But fighting is not always it's Batman. As you well know, with deep shadows and a little caution, you can slip past most opponents without resorting to your fists. If you hug the walls, you will have a better chance of staying in the shadows and out of sight. By staying close, you can peer around corners without revealing yourself. A little foresight and a batarang or two can be a this is eating up a lot of fucking time. Let's try a small test. Use your stealth skills to slip past this sentry post. If you can turn it off by the switch on the opposite side of the room, you'll have beaten the challenge. I remember how um how hard I thought this game was at first. Again, you use triangle. I don't know how this <laughs> how does that not hit him still anyway there you go very good sir we move on to one final training sequence this one to perfect your free form the challenge is to use your cape to slow or speed your form as necessary my fucking eye is twitching right now because this sucks 
have been so fucked up if that red thing would have still been going and I'd have to start over. Anyway, dive. Oh, fuck. Man. Uh, I don't know why I made that noise. This is the only time you actually get the controls to how to free fall. Again, triangle is used. Alright. Somebody lied to me and told me that you could play as Robin in this game. Yeah, I still haven't found that. I don't know you could control yourself in midair. Okay. I should have ended it there. That zoom in on his face, even though he was in the bottom left-hand corner. Next video.